This is day one, no Instagram, and I'm suffering. This is like week one, no meats, and I'm doing pretty well. We'll see what happens next time. I check in. It is like day three, no Instagram, and I am low key suffering. Every time I pick up my phone, I'm looking for the Instagram app. Day one and day two, I still had the app on my phone, but I wouldn't look at it. It was driving me nuts to every time I go on my phone and see the app icon and not be able to click on it. So I finally deleted it as of yesterday. Hopefully smooth sailing. The challenge is, is my hubby. He's an Instagram user. So whenever he's kicking it at the house and he's on Instagram, I have to like get away from him so that I'm not scrolling with him indirectly. You know what I mean? Also, I almost had me yesterday, but I didn't. I probably ate a little bit of the skin of the chicken, but I didn't eat no chicken in my rear for real. Just a little bit of the skin because it was mixed in with the sides. It is day six of this no social media, no I ain't gonna say day six and no me, but I'm also no me. So I'm feeling good. I'm having more of a optimistic outlook. Um, really learning to, again, look at my life as half full instead of half empty because I have a lot of stuff that's going for myself that I would have killed for as a kid. And I've taken those things for granted because I'm too busy worried about the other things that I don't have that I still want for. I can't wait to see what all i've accomplished once i get to day 30 and i'm ready to return back to the internet i don't know if i'm gonna even go back to me you hear me like i'm feel, i'm feeling good i don't even want to put that into my body honestly it is day 10 no instagram no social media man the realizations that i'm coming to are just above me you know what I mean? There's a lot of things that I'm knowing that I need to stop that I don't necessarily want to stop. And that's kind of like where the problem is. I'm also thinking about the fact that time is like literally not slowing down at all. And I am wasting time. So I'm like battling to fix that. <sighs> it is day 13 of no social media it is day 21 of no meat the last re week has been like rocky as f and i can't even begin to tell you what the issue was on that what i do know is something has got to change since i've taken myself away from social media what some people may say it's viral. Still don't mean nothing to a lot of people who are not on the internet. People can be doing all types of stuff in their real life, making all types of good money, and you won't know unless you look for it, you ask, or they tell you. It is day 14. No meat. Well, it's been longer, no meat, actually, but no meat, no Instagram. I will be honest, I feel like I have been low-key on YouTube unproductively and I'm supposed to not be on that unless I'm uploading content or editing my content. So if you count that as cheating, then hey, I want to get in the habit of doing that. I'll just switch one vice for another. I'm feeling good, y'all. I done finally created my own trail mix that I've been saying I was gonna make. Now I just gotta put myself to it and actually eat it like that and not be fiending for hot fries or chocolate and ice cream and all that yummy stuff. I am trying to go ahead and remove uh, dairy and all those other animal products from my diet, but that still is a slow thing just because vegan cheese, it still don't give that like real cheese you know what i mean it is day 21 no social media i can't say no meat anymore fell off the wagon twice in between day 14 and now 
I feel really terrible about it. So I think it's time I take a tolerance break as well. <sighs> Wish me luck. I'm getting to the end here and uh I don't know, I'm feeling anxious about returning. Or not returning at all. Because I haven't really got any work done. Nothing that I feel warrants a comeback after one month. So I might need to sit on it for a little longer. It is day 25, no social media. I'm feeling really motivated. Like, I'm definitely not feeling motivated to return to social media and do the same thing that I was doing before. Definitely trying to get some money this time around. So I'm coming up with a plan for these next few days to basically return. Because um, I need to get some money. I need to make some things happen. I got some kids. They got some things they trying to do. So... That's where we at. We feeling real motivated to get out here and get hungry. I am hungry. I'm starving. You feel me? So, I'm ready to turn up. You ready to turn up, Shy? Oh. Yeah. Hell yeah. It is technically day 30 of no social media. I was wondering how this day was going to feel. Was I going to be in a rush to be on Instagram? Was I not going to care? And I mean, I haven't really been tripping. Mama. Like, now that I'm thinking about it, one second, Shardy. Now that I'm thinking about it because I can return and I'm recording this video, I'm figuring out, you know, how I'm going to get my stock up, if you will, so I can really get some money because I don't want to be on there for fun you know what i mean because it's not really fun and i've been picking up my skin again look at that i just picked that up i have been back on social media for a couple weeks now really on and off it's different now like i'm just like really not into it i'm i'm not I'm not wasting my time on it as much as I used to. You know what I mean? Like, I will catch myself watching a couple videos, but I can't stop myself and not go down a rabbit hole like I used to. So, I think that's definitely a plus. Have I figured out how I want to, like, monetize my social media? Like, no. Because of that so it's kind of bittersweet if you will will i ever figure out my social media do i want to 